Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking stir fried pork and red peppers. So let's begin. Okay then, so let's turn this stove on. I'm going to turn it on full whack. And I've already added, I've, I've covered the base with some olive oil. I'll wait for that to be nice and hot. The pork, I've got it here. I've cut it into little cubes. The smaller, the quicker it does. Um, and I've also got six garlic cloves, or six and a half, and about a, a medium-sized pepper, which I've cut in chunks also, and some parsley from my garden. So let's wait for this to heat up. Right, so once the oil is nice and hot, make sure it's nice and hot. We want to fry the stuff, not, not boil it. Um, and add the pork in there. If your frying pan is small, do it in two lots. I should be able to get it all in here. Yep, nicely. And we'll just fry this. Oh, I'm going to chuck in the garlic cloves as well. Whole. And I'm going to add some salt. Uh, black pepper. Add as much or as less as you like. And I'm going to add some thyme today. About half a spoon, half a teaspoon, more or less. And I'm going to add also some sweet paprika, about a teaspoon also. And we'll give this all a nice mix. And we'll fry this all up. Until it's nearly all brown. All toasty. We'll move it about every four or five minutes. And later we'll add the peppers. Okay, so once the meat is all sealed, sealed all round, it's not ready yet, obviously. I want it nice and toasted. What I'll do is add the red peppers. You can add these later on. It all depends how, um, you know, if you want them to be, um, what do you mean? Bloody hell. Crunchy. That's the word I'm looking for. If you want them to be, be crunchy, add them later on. It's your choice. Oh, and check these two loaves of bread that I made this morning. Delicious. Well, this is nice and browned all around. The meat is soft. I just had a, a test, a try. Lovely and brown, just how I like it. So the next step, I'm going to chuck in my fresh parsley in there and half a glass of white wine. And I'll just move it about and give it two or three minutes until the alcohol evaporates. Move it, stir in it constantly, basically. That's what I like to do. Just keep it stirring it. The wine should evaporate very quickly. There was only half a glass. Smelling really good, by the way. Well, that was quicker than I thought. Yeah, just put your nose on there. 
and if it knocks you back, it means it's not done yet. So this is done, so we'll turn it off and wait a minute, let me sort this camera out. Is it there? Stop wobbling. Okay, so we'll serve it directly from here. Well, so that's, let's blow this steam away. That's today's lunch sorted out. So now I just need to make myself some nice chips and I'll probably mix them in with this so that I can heat it up a little bit more. And dinner's ready. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed today's recipe. Please leave me a comment and I look forward to sharing my next recipe video with you. Thank you for watching and goodbye.